Hey girl, hey, welcome to Getting Younger. I'm your host, Taylor Strecker, and this is my apartment. JK, I'm not a billionaire, but uh, thank you guys for thinking that I actually could live here. Uh, this is the Younger Fandom Headquarters in Union Square in New York City, and we're talking all things younger. With your help, of course, this is the show for the fans, by the fans. So send in your younger questions, comments, thoughts, and always feelings. And speaking of feelings, there are certainly a lot of feelings to go around, thanks to last week's episode. Charles confronted Liza about her lies. So vote in our first fan poll and tell me how you think Charles handled that confrontation with Liza. Do you think it was done perfectly, terribly, or I don't know because I was crying too hard to pay attention. That's my vote. Cast your vote in the comment section below and we'll get to your uh, results in about five minutes. But first guys, it's time to introduce my fabulous guest. Please welcome younger costume consultant and fashion icon, Pat Field. Hi. <laughs> also, we've got costume designer Jackie Demeterio. Hey. Hi. And Us Weekly's TV editor Emily Longaretta. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. We also have our cocktail of the night, but I'll get to that in just a little bit. Because don't forget, guys, we have two fabulous fashionistas here tonight. So send us your uh, personal style or fashion questions. We haven't ever had a chance to talk about anything more than younger, so send it all to us. And also our cocktail of the night. It's called the Relationship Sour. It's named for the turn Liza and Charles' relationship has taken thus far this season. <laughs> but I'm still holding out for them. So guys, cheers to Liza and Charles making up. Cheers. cheers. And also cheers to our like, our, <laughs> our perm, uh, what's it called, crimped. crimping moments. Yes. We're crimped. Uh, this is in honor of you, Pat, this crimped hair. So thank you. I'm the big crimper. You are the big crimper? Is that your thing? I'm crimp, I'm the biggest crimp. You're the queen crimp. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, so guys, uh, we need to right now take a look at last week's episode of Younger. Let's do it. betrayed me. You looked me in the eyes for months and months, and you pretended to be somebody else entirely. You are not the kind of person that I want to have in my life. Unfortunately, this company will not survive another scandal. So from now on, we have a professional reporting relationship. Maybe it would be better if I just left. I thought you did all this to get a job. You took a hammer to my artificial heart. I mean, obviously, I'm crying to hard to have any opinions about anything. What do you guys think about that clip? Emily, let's start with you. I know you're a huge Younger fan. It was rough. It was rough. I feel like it's the confrontation we've all been waiting for for yeah. so long. So it was time, but it was hard. It was hard to see because he was heartbroken and she was heartbroken. Nobody wants that. Yeah, we call that... um. Bitchy Charles. He's a little bit bitchy. He can get a little bitchy. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pat, he can get was, a bit bitchy. The anger was just It was very tense, actually. Yeah, so what was it like on set? It was tense. Really? Yeah, all of those moments between, there's a lot of moments between the two of them this season. Uh-huh. And there is, you can feel it in the room. Well, I know that, you know, I mean, so Sutton and Nico hate to fight because they like love each other so yes. much. And then when we had to watch Kelsey and Liza fight last season, that was torturous. Yes. And now this, I don't know who's the worst person that Liza fights with. Who is it in your opinion? I mean, I thought her and Kelsey was really rough to watch because Brutal. they are such good friends. Mm -hmm. And the girl thing, you want the girls to get along. And I mean, she's kind of set herself up with this whole situation with Charles and Josh and right. so it's you know it's harder to watch I think a girl fight. I agree with that actually. Yeah. It was but it was a little melodramatic really. <laughs> I you know I've been in situations where you know the ends start unraveling, but um, I just felt that uh, I don't know the girl should at least comfort her friend. Yeah. Try to understand her. Yeah. But it got a little she bit. She came around, though. Yeah, she did. Yeah. She did. That female compassion. We got to, like, stick together, right? Yes. Yeah. Forgive each other, no matter what. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it wasn't the biggest crime in the world. Right. Right. <laughs> Lying about your age. Well, this is the thing. I mean, so let's talk about that, right? Right. So, like, wait. So, 
I mean, we've all had falling out with girlfriends, right? But if your girlfriend was lying about her age, by a significant amount though, how would you, I mean, would that be like a reason to stop talking to your friend? No, it wouldn't for me, but I would be like, what's the problem? Are you having a problem about your age? Yes. Maybe I can help you. <laughs> But I wouldn't get angry at them. Uh, I, that response is kind of weird. Yes. But I know that it did impact the professional Yep, millennial, situation. the imprint. Yeah. That, I think, you think that's the reason she got mad because yeah. it was all the business stuff? If there, if there wasn't business involved, do you think she wouldn't have been so pissed? I'm not sure. I feel like um, it could have been more than that, even though she said, you know, it could have been more than that. I'm not really sure. It's hard for me to put myself in that place. Have you, are, do you, have you fought with a friend, girlfriends, or no? Do you not fight yes, with girlfriends? Yes, I have, actually, and recently. Recently? Ooh, <laughs> um, anecdote time, please to tell. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I like the drama. I don't know. I feel as though um, other people's unhappiness, yes. it has to go somewhere, so sometimes it could go to your best friend. That makes sense. I feel you know, like you take out on the people that you're closest to, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just like family. Just yeah. like family. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, who's harder to fight with, family or friends? I think mm. it's harder to fight with friends. Me too, because yeah. family can't leave you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stuck no matter what. So I got some questions for you guys before we get to our fan questions. You guys keep the questions coming in the comment section below. So, uh, I know, Emily, that you interviewed the cast of Younger at ATX TV Festival a couple weeks back. Were you surprised by anything that they said about the season or about just Younger in general? Um, well, I think everyone on the cast has been saying this, but specifically uh, Sutton, and Char Sutton and Peter both told me that this is the season of Liza and Charles, which Ooh. where we're at right now, that's nice to hear because it gives a little bit of hope. Jackie, right? Pat, can you give us some insight into that without giving too much away? Don't forget, pre-show. I think it's definitely their season. <clears throat> I'm just saying that. <laughs> I mean, there, as you can see, there's fighting that's gonna get tumultuous. Yes. I think there's well, ups and downs and we'll see how it all pans out. Could it be resolved? <laughs> It could be, and we have to know, watch and wait and see. We have to watch and wait and see. <laughs> Absolutely, Pat. Well, I mean, it could be resolved. They could just both walk away from each other, and it's resolved. Okay, tease. Or 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 walk or away not. together. Yeah, <laughs> walk away in the blue, you know, in the sunshine. <laughs> um, but um, it gets more intense for sure. Yeah, it gets even more intense than it is now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I call it. Well, I do want to talk about some fashions, of course, because we have you two here. So, Pat, I have to ask you. I mean, obviously, iconic costume designer for Sex and the City, and now younger, another Darren Star TV show. What are the differences and similarities in terms of the shows? Do you think in, in terms of style? Well, in terms of, st I mean, I believe that Darren Star's um, projects are. Um, open doors to style. Yes. So um, I would call that a similarity. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're two completely different shows, but you know, they involve relationships like Sex in the City, these four girlfriends, and um, Younger with um, the two gals, and then yes. the third, and then the fourth. So um, I think it invites style. It does. That's a similarity. I feel like there's always, it, the city's always a character, and I feel like yes. the fashion is always a character, too. Well, we um, help to create that side of it. Yes. Probably, you know, due to the success of the Sex in the City, I mean, you follow what works, yeah. not what doesn't work. Right. Well, the fashions are delicious, and we're gonna be getting to more fashion specifically in just a little bit. Um, Liza. But right now, it's time to get the results from our first poll. When you hear that noise, it means poll results. Don't get scared. Okay. Diana Trout's not here <laughs> screaming at us about borrowing her necklaces. Okay, so how do you guys think that Charles handled the Liza confrontation? And, uh, wow, a majority says terribly. I have to say, 
I was crying so much I couldn't even form an opinion. Yeah, so, uh, but I, I actually, I like that. It was intense, it was, a, it was aggressive, it made me so sad. Okay guys, well it's time for another poll, so let's get right to it. Should Liza resign from Empirical? I mean, if Charles handled it so terribly, should she just leave? Is it definitely, is it a hard no, or is it, um, I don't know, because I'm still crying, please stop asking me questions. Uh, we're gonna get to your results in just a little bit, and don't forget you guys, vote in the comment section below. Now it's time to go to some fan questions. I, of course, also have some questions as well, but you guys get your comments and your questions in right now, and let's go to a fan question right this second. Okay, so fan question is from, you guys, I, we established this last week. I am still blind. I did not get LASIK. Okay, so this comes from Misty, I believe. It's Mindy or Misty. Misty, who, who are each of your favorite characters and what makes them your favorite? Okay, Emily, let's start with you. Ooh, tough. Um, I'm gonna go with Kelsey because I feel like she just is so honest all the time and I love that. Yep. I, I want her to be my best friend. She is honest all the time. And that's yeah. actually a very, that's what, that it should be a more female trait, but I think we're kind of conditioned to be like sugar and ice, or totally. sugar and spice and everything nice, so. And yeah. she's, she's such goals. a hard working woman. She is. That's she what I'm is. She's a Confident. boss I love it. lady. Jackie? Um, I would agree, I think Kelsey's one of mine, but I also love Maggie. I know. <laughs> because she just keeps it real too, and yep. she's just who she is, and she's, you know, she's, there's a lot of similarities with Debbie and Maggie, so mm -hmm. I love Deb, and I love that character that she plays. She's a rock. She's like that in real yeah. life too, isn't she? Yes. Down so to So I think it's like having that for Liza, mm -hmm. you know, it's like super important to have that in her life right now. So I love that character. Pat, do you have a favorite? I, um, well, I love Debbie, of course. Um, I know her from teenager. Oh my God. But I tell you, I really find um, Diana. Yeah. I just, <laughs> she can be so funny and um, her expressions and so on. I really admire her as an actor, um, uh, Miriam. Yeah. And I love the, you know, what she's created in that role. She is hysterical. Yeah. And the necklaces are everything. What, what's the deal with necklaces uh, while we're on the topic of Diana? Why the necklaces, guys? I just did this whole interview about her necklaces. <laughs> <laughs> and they wanted to know the weight of them. What is the weight? What's the heaviest one she's worn? There's a, there was a Givenchy like agate rock crystal one that yep. she wore oh, last yeah, season. Yeah. That it was, was like a coaster. That was pretty heavy. A hot I mean, coaster. they're all, there's, they were all hanging on these muslins in the wardrobe truck. Yes. And, I had to keep pick them up with like two hands. Like the whole thing must weigh 50 pounds. It's like going to the gym. It's like yeah. the workout for the yeah. day. <laughs> Pumping iron with Diana's necklaces. Okay, we have another fan question. So let's get to it. Uh, what inspires some of the outfit choices for the characters, Liza, Maggie, Kelsey, et cetera? Okay, what's the inspiration, guys? Well, there's different inspiration for different characters. Obviously, they're all, the main thing is that each character has their own identity. Yes. Because that's what keeps the, let's say the dynamic of the, of the relationships between the characters. Like Liza would never borrow Kelsey's clothes type of a thing, right? They're like right. totally different individuals, yeah. stylish. Yeah. She would never borrow um, Lauren's clothes. Right. No. Yeah, they Who's were all, clothes? we all yeah. built the characters based on differentiating and it's all from story point and, and following what Darren's scripts are as well. So, so how do you guys do that though? You know, is it like, is it like about color or about like? Well, like Liza, we, when we started with her, we built a lot of prints, a lot of bohemian feeling. Yes. Um, she kind of fell into that style. And then with Kelsey, she's a bit more like boss lady to me, but yeah. young, young and cool, millennial and chic, but it's different. Like Liza's softer silhouettes. Kelsey's mm -hmm. a little bit more structured, sexy, and, yeah. structured, uh -huh. fitted. Diana is Diana, where she's completely Diana's different. Diana. <laughs> she's completely different from any of them. And what would you say Maggie is? Because actually, she's like one of my favorite. Like everything she wears, I'm like, I want to wear that. I want to wear that yeah. all the time. What Maggie's would... like a mix of, you know, she's supposed to be this artist that's living in Williamsburg, and so she's, you know, but she's kind of, she has a very big sex appeal though too. Yes. So, and that just like is also from Deb. So she uses a sexiness mm -hmm. that, you know, we sort of like try to incorporate 
some different type of pieces that an artist would wear as well. But yeah, she does a lot of off the shoulder moments. Yeah. I really appreciate that <laughs> as a as a as a cold shoulder kind of a girl. And, and you know the red lips are her signature. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah, so much. her hair and makeup. She has like this glam hair and makeup. I know, she's like up yeah. early in the morning, like making yeah. like full blown <laughs> breakfasts and full hair and makeup. I'm like, she is like, if I could only, you know? Right. <laughs> Liza. <laughs> oh, that sound means it's time to check the poll results. What uh, should Liza resign from Empirical? <laughs> Sorry guys, uh, I can't even see my own cards, that's how blind I am. Okay, should Liza resign from Empirical and you guys say no, a lot of you say no. Wait, can I get from control room what the percentage is because I can't see it? But my hair's in the way. <laughs> 93%? That's insane. Okay, so 93% of people don't want to leave Empirical. What do you guys think about that? Do you think that she should leave or do you think she should stay? I don't think she should leave. I think that she's coming to her own and particularly with this um, thing going on between uh, sh uh, between her and Charles, yeah, like uh, that um, episode where they, it was the murderer game. Yes, you know she let him have it, and coming up, and he needs to get it. And he likes it. Yeah. I, I am reading between the lines of this thing. <laughs> what do you think, Jackie? I don't really think she even meant that. Uh -uh. I think I should leave. That's like you're saying to like. It's a chase. It's like, well, maybe I should leave. And you're really, you know, I don't think she even. She just wanted him to say, no, don't yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. But that didn't happen. Right. Well, it didn't happen last episode. Emily? I also think it's, you know, this is what she's worked so hard to do is to become, you know, what she is in this company now. Right. And she's killing it now. Yep. That, no way. Yeah. She can never leave. No. no way. It's the whole reason for all the lies. Exactly. Right. Why right. is she going to leave? <laughs> it's all and panned she, out. It's a lot why of work. Why did he become so, like, dramatic? Yeah, dramatic <laughs> over it. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> I think he's panicked about the company because they're in such a bad place right oh, now. Oh, yeah, that's a good After Ella Moore. And so I think he's like, one more scandal. And plus, I think at this point, too, his interpretation is what Ella Moore said, that she's kind of like shady and a con artist. So I think he's a little like terrified of her right now. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But hopefully. He's got a lot going on. He got rid of Pauline. I mean, yep. he's, you know, he's like. He's an emotional basket case. I don't really understand is. what that feels like. <laughs> it's like he's PMSing. <laughs> <laughs> Times if ten. If you find out, if you find out that someone <laughs> yeah. you're crazy in love with has been lying to you, yep, that's heartbreaking. And all trust you know? is broken, yeah. you know. And he, yeah, I, th I think he's just he's scared beyond yes. right now, and everything is changing so much. So yeah. we'll cut Charles some slack, right? I think it's fair. Yes. Okay, guys, it's time for another <laughs> fan poll, and this one is all fashion focused. Which woman on Younger is your personal style inspiration? Is it Liza, Kelsey, Maggie, Diana, or Lauren? Cast your vote right now. And again, we'll get to the, uh, the results in about five, four minutes. Uh, I know who I'm voting for. Do you guys know who you're voting for? Don't say yet. Just keep it inside. Yeah? You, can, you have time to think. Yeah. You have time. To, they're all my babies. I can't choose. Uh, and while you're voting, it's time for a chic segment. Since Pat and Jackie are here, we uh, have to take a deep dive into style. So let's get into dressing younger. We pulled some of Pat and Jackie's favorite looks from younger, and they're going to tell us about the inspiration behind each outfit. Okay, I'm so excited for this because these styles are everything. Let's go to our first look. Okay, so this is yours, Pat's. Let's talk about the shirt. It's yes, to die um, for. You know, I um, I represent a group of artists, um, and it's about art fashion. And this shirt was um, painted by Scooter LaForge, and I just love it because, you know, it's a very it's it's a classic sleeveless white shirt, mm -hmm. and then he painted this like untied necktie on. Ugh. And I, you know, it's just so sweet. I just loved it and. I thought, let me bring it to Liza and see if Jackie and Liza go for it. Yeah, and the consensus yes, was? Yes, they did, because <laughs> we got a lot of um, rea uh, positive reaction from it. It's adorable. I mean, it's so delicious. I'm not a fashion expert, though, so I don't know that I can verbalize why. Jackie, what do you think about, like, why is this so appealing? Well, <clears throat> the shirt actually... I pulled it was like a Marc Jacobs shirt. And then Pat was, we were in the fitting and after we did the fitting, showed her the photo and she's like, maybe we should do a little playful yeah. something with it. So mm -hmm. it's not just a white. I mean, it has, it had the great heart brooches already, but she was like, let's like maybe have Scooter paint something on it. And I thought it was That's a so great cool. Idea. I yeah. love it. Amazing. You guys, brava. And it's one of a kind. Yep. 
And to me, it says Liza. It's sweet. It is. It's that sweet side it's of Liza too. that you love. It's playful, too. Playful and sweet. Yeah. Okay, our next look is actually one from Jackie. So let's take a look at that one. Oh, this dress. I need this dress in my wardrobe, in my closet, in my life right now. Okay, so this was when Kelsey went to the, it was a 30 under 30, yes. the EW party. Yeah. And it was such a moment for her. Okay, so tell us about the inspiration behind this. Well, when she put this dress on, interfitting immediately, it was like everything about it just flattered her. Oh. I mean, the cut, everything. It was actually a shirt. It's a top. What? But I lengthened, we lengthened the bottom because there was some room to let it down. Wow. To make it into a dress. And then the flower, it was just like so playful and fun. And it was sort of this like, here I am moment and I'm kind of coming out here yep. of, you know, of my shell and I'm at this party being honored. So I thought it was the perfect spot for it. And I mean, it is so flattering on her, but is that just like massive credit to, to Hillary? Because th th is that like universally flattering or what do you think? No, I mean, it's kind of a tough dress. There's it's ruching tough. on it. I mean, she's great with an open neckline. Yeah. She's great with a three-quarter sleeve. She has great legs. I have a question. What, a lot. what makes you great with a, a three-quarter <laughs> sleeve? Because I always do it and I look not great. And I'm like, really? why doesn't this look good on me? <laughs> what, what's up with my arms? <laughs> Like how do like like how do you have, look good with a three quarter length? What's it has the... to hit you in the right in the right spot on your arm. Uh -huh. So sometimes even a three quarter length on your arm, maybe it's too long or it's too short. Uh -huh. If you just shorten it a bit, it'll change. Oh, so I don't have like cankles of the wrist. Right. Okay, good. Good to know. <laughs> no, you know, then you want to show that muscle. That's when it gets that muscle. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go to the gym to find that muscle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, let's look at our third look of the night. Uh, I believe this is also another pat look. Take a look at this one. Oh, yes. This is a boss cape, right? Yeah, when I, you know, when I saw that, I said, I have to bring that to Miriam. Uh, What's the story behind it? Where did you find it? It's fabulous. Well, again, it's part of my, um, my gallery. So cool. And this is by an artist from Philadelphia. Really? Iris Bonner. And um, she, um, it's one of the things that she does. She does other, uh, has other interpretations, but a lot of writing and messaging. And she's the boss was, I said, it's Miriam, she's the boss. She is. We put it on her and she like, in, I don't, in the episode, you know, she did a little modeling. <laughs> she does that. Yeah. 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 She's really great at using her clothes. Yeah. And let's talk about why a cape is so good all the time. Like a cape is my like boo thing. That is like my signature. Yeah. What's, capes are like always in style, they yes? It, they, they're always in style, they, they finish the look. They finish the look. And it gives it a really strong look too. She was going to go apartment hunting with Richard <gasps> here. Yes! <laughs> and, was... and she can smell, what is it, like the parquet flooring? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's look at our uh, next look. This is a Jackie look. Oh my God, Lauren, <laughs> stop it. Wait, wait, it's like I'm getting a lot of Madonna vibes here. Yes. And okay, remind me of the scene that they're in again too. I'm forgetting this right now. This is marriage vacation party. Yes, okay. So, you know, it's a marriage vacation party. It's themed. Mm -hmm. So I think you remember Liza's and you know, she's kind of in a Hawaiian themed like yep. floral halter top. Like and, very tiki. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so of course Lauren who mm -hmm. goes, you know, above and beyond in her fashion wardrobe and we decided to have this made um, by a designer in New York, James Caviello, and we thought the cone Madonna bra, like the Gautier bra, yes. would be just fabulous. <laughs> yes. Because she takes it to another level. So. And the and it's, a gra it's grass, right? Yeah, it was, it's actually like a grass skirt and top, and it's like ribbon, and it was, I mean, it was so intricate the way that he he made it. So what's like, so I know, we all know Lauren style, but it's like Molly, like, I mean, Molly's fun and she's adventurous, but is she like, oh my God, these outfits? <laughs> she is, but she's like totally gay. I think when we first started working with her, she was a little bit more reserved and now each season, she, you can see her like every season come up more and more and she's totally game for it. Oh but, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I think for her, she got into it and it was an easy transition. Meaning, you know, I think in a certain way, it inspired her interpretation of the character. Yeah. Yeah. And is it ever hard, I mean, not even just on the set of Younger, but do you ever have like talent who's like, you know, not willing to go there? Oh, not absolutely. that adventurous? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And so what do you do? Because they have to, in all fairness, they're in front of the camera. Uh huh. And if they don't feel good, they can't, you know, you're not helping them, you're hindering them. Yeah. Right. Being uncomfortable. When, yeah. 
But when you do, when you find an actor that gets it, it's really fun for us. Absolutely. But at the same time, you know, we really have to respect the actor. I mean, we're not in front of the camera. Right. I, I sometimes wonder, like, if I were, you know, somebody was dressing me, I might, I don't know what I would yeah. do. Really. Well, guess what, Pat? Surprise, we have a comb bra back here for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take a look at uh, another, another outfit. Oh my God, I die for this, okay. Oh yeah, I die for that. So what, Pat, this is yours, what is this? Well, Jackie found that. Um, Oscar de la Renta. Yeah, oh. Oscar. And I, this was, a, this was an advertising poster. And we had it, right, in the wardrobe. And I was like, let's do the, this is a poster, let's make it wow. Oof. It has nothing to do with the script or what's going on, it's a poster. And you should always so, heighten the posters. Yeah. yeah, and it's like she's walking across a highway, you know, an overpass Ugh. in this gap. Couture, just and fabulous. I love it. I just, and I think it, I think people really liked it. Is it all tulle? Is that what it is? Yeah, it was layered tulle. Yeah. And like spray painted? Silk. Am I making that up? No, no, it's not spray painted. It had like a sort of an ombre effect, but it was the pink layers of the tool with the black and the white. So it looked almost like ombre spray painted, but it wasn't. It's insane. It was I gorgeous. love it. And she, you know, of course has the height and the body part. Yeah. And the grace, because she's a dan you know, a dancer. Uh-huh. So she could carry. She carries beautiful. clothes very, very yeah, well. Oh, she does. Yes, yeah. yes, she yeah. does. <laughs> okay, and let's take a quick look at our final outfit of the night. Uh, okay, so actually this is, you guys, a preview of an outfit to come. So just a little sneak peek for you. Okay, so tell us about this, Jackie. So this, I won't give anything away, um, but there was sort of a Karl Lagerfeld inspired look that Maggie's you know, supposed to be dressing up for. And so we put this, um, this beautiful suit on her and I just, I like loved it on her. I thought she just looked so spectacular in it. And the cut of the suit and just everything, you know, kind of gave her that tough, she's had that tough edge Maggie, but uh -huh. sexy. Yep. And it just completely embodied her character to me. I loved it. Oh. I think Debbie's probably the only person that can have something that literally covers an entire body and yes. still looks so sexy. Right? right? Like, yeah. She has no skin showing yeah. and still looks sexy. It's yeah. amazing. I love it. <laughs> love it. Well, you guys, bravo, bravo Thank to you. the amazing work that you do. Thank, Thank you. you. It's just like candy. Okay, now it's time for our uh, third poll results of the night. Which woman on Younger is your personal style inspiration? And the majority of you guys said Kelsey. I like that. She's very playful. I have to ask you, if she, aside from Zane, would she be the most expensive wardrobe? Yes, uh, well, she would be. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Diana's up there. Diana, I was gonna yeah. say, Diana's yeah. up there too. But yeah. of the young ones, yeah. It's Hillary. But she definitely, she definitely spends a majority of her paycheck shopping. Yes, <laughs> I mean, we get that question constantly. Like, how do they afford this wardrobe? This is ridiculous. That's so and, funny. And I was like, listen, when I was that age, I had <laughs> no money and I was putting Barney's on my credit cards, right? to, like to get by in, in fashion because I worked in fashion. Yeah. And so like you kind of have to do what you have to do. And plus it is hyper reality. Of course, it's <laughs> called suspending your disbelief. Exactly. People. And just enjoy the beauty yeah, that exactly. is in front of you. <laughs> exactly. I think it's aspirational. Yes. Yeah. And it's positive. And um, I think Hillary comes in first because most young women, you know, could see themselves in that type of clothing, there's not the kookiness. Yes. You know, yep. of let's say Lauren. Right. Or the kookiness of uh, Diana. Oh yeah. With those. Th those necklaces. <laughs> you know. I just love them <laughs> so much. Okay, well you guys, thank you so much for casting your vote. Um, and now actually we have a uh, what happens next poll. So here's the deal. Tonight's episode of Younger is literally moments away and we're gonna give you a sneak peek. This is what happens next. So I'm gonna play a clip from tonight's episode and then I pause it at a specific moment and then you're going to guess what happens next. So let's do this. This. Liza, is, can I see you in, in the powder room, please? Gotta go. Nice to meet you, Don. 
freeze. Okay, freeze, 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 freeze. Okay, so what happens next, people? Uh, what does Diana want to talk about with Liza? A messy work situation, a messy man situation, a messy bathroom situation, or did one of Diana's necklaces fall into the toilet? Uh, cast your vote right now in the comment section below. And we'll get down to it in just a little bit. Emily, what do you think? <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope a necklace fell. I, I, as much as I don't because I love all the necklaces, that would, that'll be pretty entertaining. So let's hope for that. <laughs> also, I have to ask you, as a super fan, what do you think the appeal of this show is? Just like to just such a vast audience. I mean, huh. everyone watches this, every age, every gender, every sexuality. I mean, everybody loves this damn show. Well, I think that's what you just said. Every gender, every age, every you know job, sexuality, all of them are included. Mm -hmm. All of these people are included in the show. It's, a good there's point. not any, you know, like none of them are unrelatable. So you can relate to every single character in some way or the other, or you want to be like them. Totally true. I okay. really think a lot of that starts with Darren Stone. Yeah. Yep. And how? How does he do it? Well, I, I my experience with him. Like in the beginning of Sex in the City, for example, he was, I asked him, and he was able to articulate each of these characters to me. You know, he had it in his brain, and then I interpreted it. Uh, and here we are with Younger, and I, I believe he is very responsible for like these different characters. Yeah. Um, and then we, you know, we build them. Yeah, I think he's responsible for like also the life choices that we make. Like I built my life around sex and singing and now I'm building it around younger. I mean, I swear to God, it's the truth. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I shouldn't copy it to a T. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have time for one fan question. So let's get to our last fan question of the night. If you were Liza, would you pick Charles or Josh? You guys can never let this go. Team Josh or Team Charles? I can't let it go either, so don't worry about it. Okay, Pat, who would you pick? If I were her? If you were Liza. Oh. I, you know, probably Josh. Because? Because he's more fun. <laughs> Jackie? <laughs> he is more fun, but I think where she is in her life right now and her headspace, I think Charles is probably the more ideal partner for her. Yes. You know? Yeah. But I agree that. I mean, she left, Josh the, is more fun. she left the husband. Yeah, but he was he a gambler her. and he was a low <laughs> Yeah, body. that's true, yeah. but he, he was, was zero fun. Yeah. He wasn't fun. <laughs> <laughs> she was paying his debts. Emily? <laughs> Charles, for sure. Really? From, the, from the beginning for me. Is it the brownstone? Because that's what does it for me. <laughs> that's a definite plus. <laughs> that place is really no, nice. I see, He's a full package for her. Yeah. It just works. And their chemistry to me. My I gotta go with Josh Liza. because he reminds me of this like eternal youth. That's yeah, why yeah. I like that. Okay, so we're 50-50 split here. And that youthful energy is really valuable. Yes, it really is. It keeps you young. You can yes, suck his blood. Does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so now it's time to get to she the uh, results. So what does Anna want to see Liza about? Is it work, bathroom, a man situation, or necklace? And the majority of you said it's a messy man situation. Hmm. Are you wrong? Are you right? Well, guess what? We'll find out very soon because tonight's episode of Younger is about to start. Thank you to Pat, Jackie, and Emily for joining me. You guys are so great. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you to Rent the Runway for my outfit. I don't have to spend all my paycheck on my clothes. <laughs> and thank you to the fans for watching. You're the ones that we do the show for. Uh, we're off next week for the holiday, but we'll be back Tuesday, July 10th with Molly Bernard. And in the meantime, be sure to check out our podcast, Younger Uncovered. There's a new episode out every single Wednesday, and it's hosted by moi. We're going to leave you right now with some hilarious bloopers from tonight's episode, a little sneak peek. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Murderer, awaken and choose your victim. That guy. <laughs> I love you. I love you. You're there. Liza's murderer. <laughs> Liza's right. <laughs> Can I keep rolling? Still rolling? I'm like, it was Liza. <laughs> You're killing me. You're killing me. Oh, I had it. <laughs> Go, 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 before I forget. Oh, forget? Wait, what? <laughs> like that. <laughs> 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 oh.
Oh, that's gonna happen. Just like that, he's gonna take the chair with me. Where is your father? And what did he do? Where is your dad? Mary, can you just poke around the corner for a second? Thank you. <laughs> and who is this for? Liza Miller. You're kidding me. Oh, <laughs> well, a man tried to buy, buy my urine. <laughs> 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 My earrings are so loud. Can you hear them? Because to me, it's deafening. Sophie. <laughs> you make everything she better. Cheers. Brunello. Ooh. I dated him once. Oh, yes, Brunello. Hold, hold, please. We're skipping here. <laughs> We're skipping here. Look do, do, at do, the do. Don't fall down. Don't pull me on the ground. I will not. Here we go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Subscribe to Younger Uncovered. The podcast dedicated to all things younger.